All right, guys, so um, I'm just taking apart my charge controller. If you watched my last video, I told you how it got fried. And I saw something on here that I didn't see before. It's like a gummy, waxy mess. Looks like it came out of back here. Can you all see that? Yeah, there you go. Um, and I also saw it. I'm going to try to hopefully show you right inside that hole there. Let me see if I can... I don't think I'm going to be able to get that on film. But anyway, that same that same uh, gunk looks like it's in there. Uh, I'm going to pull this apart. I started unscrewing it. I said, let me get this on video. And I wanted to uh, show you first. And I also want to let you all know that I went ahead, ponied up the money. And I'm, I'm as tight as two coats of paint, so I didn't want to do it. But I got a uh, Midnight Classic 150 charge controller. So that's on order. I'm hoping to see that here Friday, Saturday, Monday. The sooner the better. And uh, I'm going to install that. But I'm still hoping I'm able to fix this and at least use it as a backup, if nothing else. So I'll, uh, I'll open this up and uh, show you if there's anything in there worth seeing. All right, guys, here's the inside of the unit. And because I don't know what it looked like originally, it's hard for me to know what this is supposed to look like. But there's all this white gunk in here. And I can't imagine it's like up against a circuit board. I have no idea what that stuff is. I'm hoping some of you guys do. But this looks like whatever silicon they use there, it looks like it melted. I don't know what the deal is, but anyway. I'm sure somebody out there knows what the heck I'm looking at and can tell me. Um, looks like the circuit board has uh, I don't know, some type of glue or sap on it. I don't know what any of this stuff means. Um, any ideas, please shout it out. Let me know because I'm at a loss. All right, so that was the bottom of the unit I was showing you there. That was obviously that rubbery gunk. Looked like it melted and came off. Um, looks like I do have some fuses here. These are 30 amp fuses. So I'll pull them out next and see if uh, any of those are blown. With a little luck, that's the problem. All right, guys, so I got this thing opened up and look at the stuff that came out of there. I mean, Looks like mozzarella. I'm sorry, mozzarella cheese for you mayonnaise faces. I don't know if that was in there. It doesn't look right. It was all gunked up in there. It was, I don't know. It was touching the circuit board. It was touching whatever this is below it, that black piece. I don't know if that's a fan, but it's got a bunch of silicon in it, so I don't think it is. Um, I don't know what the deal is. I'm hoping somebody out there can tell me what the deal is with this thing. Again, I mean... Did I fry this thing? Like, is this stuff supposed to be on there? That looks like maple syrup or something. It's not sticky. I don't know. Holler at me. Let me know what you think there. I appreciate it. I'd love to have this thing as a backup. I just wanted to uh, tell you that these three fuses right here, the two on the outside I can see without pulling them out, and uh, and they're they're fine. So. The one in the middle, I have no idea. When I went to go pull it out, uh, they're soldered right onto the board. They're literally soldered on there. So as I tried pulling it off, the cap, the green cap started coming off, but the uh, actual fuse was still there. So I just put it back down. Like I said, I could see the two on the outside were good. So I don't know if the middle one's the problem or what the deal is. Heck, I don't know why they're soldered in there, why they can't be pulled out and switched out without having to break the solder. That's kind of odd. All right, guys, so I'm out at my uh, little Harbor Freight. I got a little two 12-volt um, battery set up right here. And I just kind of did a quick connect. I want to see if I can replicate it while we're, while we're on film here, while we're doing the filming. Um, I don't know if I can do it with my lack of hands, but I'm going to try to clip this to my positive wire like a so. And look at what we have here. Lit up. It's green. So I got something going on which I didn't have any lights back of the cabin. Zero lights. So I got something going on now. I guess what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it back together and bring it down and see if it see if it works. Now, I can't try the solar panels for two reasons. Number one, um, I don't, I, I just have this one Harbor Freight solar panel and it's hooked up through the Harbor Freight charge controller and it doesn't have the wires that I can put into the bottom of this. Um, and number two, I don't have sun because it's nighttime. 
So anyway, I'm going to upload this video. Hopefully I get some feedback from some of y'all and uh, I can proceed from there and maybe I'm going to have a good backup. Thanks.